surprise, surprise, we are headed off for another adventure today. Dave has the day off and so do a couple of the other Fisher guys, guides, Fisher guides. <laughs> And we're headed to do more fishing because what do fishing guides do on their days off? They go fishing. We're headed up to the Russian River, which is world renowned for trout fishing and salmon fishing. And right now is when the king salmon and the sockeye salmon are headed up to do their first spawning. So there's a beautiful waterfall up there, a gorgeous hike along the river, and the guys are going to be trying to find some more salmon. hiking trail that runs alongside the Russian River and you can start all the way up at the Russian River Falls. Unfortunately we're not going to do that today because it, we've heard it's flooded out up there and the fishing isn't as good so we're staying down here on the lower side of it. The Russian River is about 13 miles long and it eventually meets up with the Kenai River which runs into Lake Kenai and then all the way to the ocean and that's where all of these sockeye are coming from. But Benelli is pulling and she wants to go on the trail just a little bit more. So we're gonna go walk a little bit more. For those of us not fishing, it's an awfully nice day to just hang out on the deck and watch the fishermen catch their fish. Well, or not catch their fish. I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of fish getting off the hooks today. Oh, you gotta get up the hill. Oh no! <laughs> We're going to do a second day on the Russian River today, but first we're stopping at the historic Gwyn's Lodge, which is right here in Cooper's Landing. It was started in 1946. The couple started it um, just selling stuff out of a tent, and eventually they built this roadhouse, which is one of the oldest structures on the Kenai Peninsula. But one of the coolest things about the story is that when the couple separated, the wife continued to run the roadhouse until she retired in 1976. of Alaskan gear, not only do you need a great pair of extra tops, but a fantastic pair of waders and wading boots is necessary too. Y'all, 75 degrees in Alaska and a pair of waders feels like about 105 degrees in North Carolina. Just so you have a little bit of perspective. So we just had our first yep. bear sighting of the year. Uh, Mama Grizzly with her cub working her way down the river looking for some fish. 
just like the rest of us. Did she make the baby come? It is a gorgeous day out here on the Russian River. Second day in a row and much better with waders on, for sure. It is really warm and uh, once you get in the water, it feels fantastic. Ellie, in fact, loves it so much that she's just running in circles around us. Our second bear encounter, we just happened to catch at the right moment. This sneaky little bear just grabbed a fisherman's fish right off the banks. Granted, the fisherman was supposed to have it on a stringer, but I'm so glad I caught it. If you had blinked, you would have missed the whole encounter. You may have noticed uh, some of the footage that I've been doing, a bunch of dead trees along the side of the road and alongside the river. And unfortunately, a bark beetle is killing these trees. So it's kind of left an unsightly mess, and it also makes it a little easier for forest fires to start back here. And this year is an unusually dry summer here in Alaska, so the fire hazard is really high right now, and we're all hoping that we don't end up with a big forest fire. They had one here about four years ago, and it shut everything down. That is a true Alaska bear encounter. Thanks for scaring the bear away, honey. I appreciate it. 